the line 3x plus 2y equals to 24 meets the x-axis at A and y-axis at B. The perpendicular bisector of AB meets the line through 0, comma minus 1 and parallel to x-axis at C. Find the area of triangle ABC. Let's draw the line 3x plus 2y equals to 24 arbitrary diagram, not the actual one. So, 3x plus 2y equals to 24 is the line, AB line. What how the perpendicular bisector of AB will be passing through the midpoint of AB and perpendicular to the line AB. We also draw the line which is passing through 0, comma minus 1 and parallel to x axis. Once we got the coordinates of C, we can easily find out the area of triangle ABC. Now, let us see how to find out the coordinates of A comma B comma C. Finding out A comma B is very easy because we know the line is 3x plus 2y equals to 24. If we substitute x equals to 0, we will get y coordinate. If we substitute y equals to 0, we get x intercept. 3x plus 2y equals to 24. If we take y equals to 0 or x equals to 0, 2y equals to 24, y equals to 12. That means the coordinates of b are 0, 12. Similarly, substituting y equals to 0, we have 3x equals to 24 or x equals to 8. Therefore, the coordinates of A are 8 comma 0. Now, how to find out the coordinates of C? For that, we will find out the equation of the perpendicular bisector CD. For that, we need to know the midpoint of AB because CD is slope is perpendicular to slope of AB, it is a perpendicular line, slope is negative reciprocal of AB and it passes through the point 4, 6. D is midpoint of AB, applying the formula x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2, we will get that D is 4, 6. Now, we know CD, if you are able to get the equation of CD, we know the equation of the line which is passing through 0, comma minus 1 and parallel to x axis. Point of intersection of this will give us coordinates of C. Now, CD perpendicular to AB and AB, AB equation is 3x plus 2y is 24. CD is given by 2x minus 3y plus k equals to 0. You have to switch the coefficients of A and B and change the sign if it is plus to make it to minus. Now, we know that CD passes through the midpoint of AB 4, 6. Substituting, we get the value of k as 10. That means, the equation of CD is 2x minus 3y plus 10 equals to 0. Now, we know equation of CD is 2x minus 3y plus 10 equals to 0 and equation of CX, any line parallel to x axis is given by y equals to k and here it is passing through 0, comma minus 1. So, the equation of Cx will be y equals to minus 1. Now, taking the lines 2x minus 3y plus 10 equals to 0 and y equals to minus 1, solving them, we will be getting the coordinates of C. Substituting y equals to minus 1, we get 2x minus 3 into minus 1 plus 10 equals to 0. From that, we can calculate the value of x. Let us go ahead and do that. 2x minus 3 into minus 1 plus 10 equals to 0. 2x is minus 13. x equals to minus 13 by 2. So, the coordinates of c are minus 13 by 2 comma minus 1. Now, we know the coordinates of a, coordinates of b and coordinates of c we can just apply the area of triangle formula to find out the area of triangle ABC. So, the area of triangle ABC to find out, let us write down what are the coordinates of A comma B and C. A is 8 comma 0, B is 0 comma 12 and C is minus 13 by 2 comma minus 1. Area of triangle, if you know the coordinates of the three sides is given by, if suppose taking them as x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3, area is given by 
half into x1 into y2 minus y3 absolute value we will take even it comes negative we will take it as positive so half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 substituting the values of x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and simplifying we will get area of triangle abc equals to half into x1 is 8 into y2 minus y3 12 minus of minus 1 that is 12 plus 1 plus x2 is 0 so 0 into anything is 0 ignoring that part going to the next one x3 is minus 13 by 2 into y1 minus y2 that is minus 12 minus into minus will be plus there and simplifying that we will get 2 6 6 13s are 78 78 plus 104 because 8 into 13 is 104 104 plus 78 is 182 182 by 2 is 91 square units so the area of triangle abc is 91 square units